Hello guys, this is Amos Noel Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Wedding Dress. In today's lesson I'll be teaching you the awesome instrumental section that pretty much plays throughout the entire song. It's really awesome stuff. Okay, so one of the main reasons why I made this tutorial is because uh, a few of my students actually in the past has came to me to wanting to learn this song and they've came to me with their sheet music that they found online and all of them all the different ones kind of like it's a bit wrong like either way it's like the left hand is a little bit wrong or the right hand is a bit wrong in terms of like the voicings are not there and stuff okay so here we go I'll teach you the proper one right now here it goes like this give you a preview right now so what you're gonna learn so it goes like this Okay, so yeah, I don't know why like some people would get it wrong online. Like the right hand is actually there are specific uh, specific voicings for it, which sounds good like that. But anyways, so here we go. Let's learn the correct version right now. Okay, so here we go. Let's break it up to parts. One, two, three, four. Four parts, all right. So four parts. First part, right hand goes like this, starting on the G up here. So middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C. We go up to the G. That's where we start on. So it goes G down to B. And then C, and then it goes two notes together, A and E. And then it goes two notes together, A and C. And then it goes down to G, C, and then two notes, G and D together. Like that. And that is the first part for the right hand, okay? So yeah, remember all those notes. One more time, it goes like this. G, B, C, and double note, A, E. And then A, C together. And then G, C, and then G, D together like that for the right hand okay so once you get that left hand we have these bass notes okay so we have okay so starting on the A here middle C is here for reference go down an octave to the C that's the A where we start on so it goes A up to E up to A up to B okay and then down to the low F okay and then C up to F up to G like that are the notes for this first part okay so yeah one more time so you can see it's kind of panda happening so you're doing this a e a and then cross your to the second finger up to the b and then you kind of do the same pattern for the f so f c f and then cross your to the g just like that okay so you're like this like that so get familiar with this pattern okay so yeah, once you get that, the two hands together for this first part goes like this. So it goes together, together, and then it comes in here, together, just like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, so it goes together, together, here, together. Like that. Okay, pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so once you get that, let's just practice a few times of that. Um, make it smooth because, like, uh, the main thing is if your two hands are not smooth, then it won't sound good. Okay, so it has to be very smooth in terms of rhythm as well. So none of like, none of that. Okay, so even when it's fast, it's still smooth. Like that. Sounds like a flowing kind of like song. Okay, so here we go. After the first part, let's move on to the second part, right hand, continues up to the D, G together, it goes up to the E here, and then it goes C, E together, and then it goes G, F together, and then C, E together twice, and then B, D together, and then C, D. Yeah, so the second part would be the harder part because it's a lot of like, uh, like together, multiple together notes, okay? So here we go. One more time for the second part for the right hand, so it goes, E and then C E together and then G F together and then C F C E together twice B D together C D like that and that's it okay well, look at so when it's fast it goes like this yeah 
So remember to put these voicings in. It sounds even more closer to the original if you do. Okay, so that's the right hand. Left hand, we have these notes. Okay, this is a harder part. It's like a the left hand kind of like stretches a bit more. Okay, so he goes on the C here, on the octave below middle C. So C up to G, up to C, up to the high G, like that. Okay, this is the big jump. And then down to the low G here, and up to D, up to G, up to B, like that. Okay, yeah. One more time for the second part. So the second part, left hand is a bit harder in terms of his bigger jumps. Okay, you can either do this, okay, if your hands are big enough. But yeah, for most of you guys, just do this C G C up to the G like that, and then G D G B like that. So pretty much all of them is the same fingering. It's always the five, two, one, and then stretch to two again, and a crossover. Yeah, so like this. That. Okay, so once you got that for the left hand, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes together, together. After that, left hand comes by itself. Together. Like that, just like that, and that's the slow motion of it. Okay, so it goes together, together, yeah, together. Like that, when it's faster. Okay, now moving on. Okay, let me see the. Uh, let me see. Okay, so this third part is pretty much the same as the first part. Okay, with the exception of the last note, the double note, you didn't have to do it. So it goes like this. Check it out. So you can see it's pretty much the same. This third part, like this. Like that. So right to D without the double G D note. Okay. Okay, it's optional, okay? So yes, okay? So one more time, it goes. Like that. And that is the third part. Okay, so so far, the three parts we've learned, okay, with the, in mind that the third part is the same as the first part, goes like this. Let's play back to back like this. Check it out. Okay, so that's what we learned so far. Now let's move on to the fourth and last part of this awesome instrumental loop. Okay, right hand continues, it goes E, and then it goes C, E, G together, and then C, and then it goes G, C, D together. Yeah, and then G, B, D together. And then it goes C, D like that. Okay, yeah, pretty awesome um, ending here. So it goes E, and then C, E, G together, and then C, and then it goes to G suspension 4. If you know this chord, it will be pretty easy for the right hand, so G, C, D. And then it goes G major kind of chord, G, B, D. And then C, D, like that. Okay, what is faster? Yeah, it's helpful to know these kind of stuff, these chords on the right hand, because once you do, like C major, G suspension 4, G major, C, D. It's easier to kind of pick out when you try to listen and, and like learn the right thing, okay? Like that. Okay, so that's the right hand. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have uh, these following notes. So it goes like this, okay? So in a, in a sense, it's kind of like similar to the second part, but the jump is not as big this time. So C, G, C, and this time up to E. And then down to, as the other, same as before, G, D, G, B, like that, just like that, so simple stuff, so C, G, C, E, G, D, G, B, like that, okay? Okay, so once you get that, the two hands together goes like this, goes together, together, and then after that, left hand comes in, together, like that, one more time, so together, together, here, together. Just like that, and that's that. Okay, so back to back, uh, all the four parts we play like this. Check it out. So it goes. Yeah. 
uh, yeah, so that's the instrumental loop that plays pretty much the entire song. So have fun with that. Pretty nice motif. And yes, hope you enjoyed learning this. And as for now, go ahead uh, on my channel. I have many other like piano videos for you to enjoy. I literally have like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos. Like no joke, that many videos for you to enjoy and learn from. Okay, so check it out. Okay, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, do all a lot of other stuff like music theory and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so linked in the description below. Check that out as well. So now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.